Hey everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal, and in this little video I want to give you some quick tips based on my own experience with how to get rid of a UTI, a urinary tract infection that affects a ton of people every single year. In fact, the last study uh, or research that I found on this said that in 2019, more than 405 million people worldwide suffered from a UTI that year. And think about that might just be the people who actually went to see their doctor or found they found some way to actually report this. So I think there's actually a lot more urinary tract infections happening uh, than, is, than is even actually reported, right? Because a lot of us um, might know how to get rid of it ourselves. We might not um, actually go to the doctor to do anything. But just know that the information I'm going to share with you in this video is not meant to be medical advice. This is just my own experience, my own opinion, and based on my own research on uh, what a UTI is and how is what are some of the best tips to go after to go after it if you do happen to get one. Now I know that one of the most common things for people is that they get put on antibiotics. And if you don't have access to herbal remedies that you know are very powerful against infections like that, uh, that is what they will, what will typically happen is you'll go on a very short round of antibiotics. Now I will tell you I've had many good friends um, who uh, who have been on antibiotics for UTIs for literally decades. There's a very very good friend who um, I met her probably 12 years ago and she'd been taking something for chronic UTIs and mostly prescription antibiotics for more than 20 years when we, we, we found each other, we became friends, and um, I helped her with some good remedies, and it completely changed. It changed her life completely. And so that's been about maybe 12 or more years. So it is possible to do some lifestyle things and to do some natural remedies to help clear up a UTI. Now, UTIs don't just affect women, they affect men, but it is more prevalent in women than men. So there are some things that will affect a UTI. So let's, or maybe make you more prone to getting a UTI. So if you have a history of it, so maybe you have a compromised immune system, or if you've been on rounds and rounds of antibiotic, it leaves your probiotics, your beneficial bacteria, your immune system, and all the things you know, that your body needs to help it stay strong, it leaves it in a compromised position. So that is one of the tips I'm gonna give you is to take, is to replenish your gut flora, take a very good probiotic. Um, poor hygiene, it does depend on age and some of the UTIs that have been uh, reported is really young kids and older people tend to be a little bit more prone. Uh, pregnancy, and a lot of that's because your body, as a pregnant woman, your body changes as far as the shape changes, it's as the baby starts to grow, body parts have to kind of move around and accommodate and it can lead to the bacteria that can actually form and cause a UTI. Uh, having a catheter, um, other medical conditions like diabetes can cause more chronic UTIs for people. Now, a lot of the symptoms that you get from a UTI are, are these. So this might actually give you an alert that you are having, a, that you have a UTI. A burning sensation when you, uh, when you pee, a frequent urination, a cloudy or dark urine, a urine with a strong order, odor, uh, some pelvic pain, and a feeling of incomplete when you're when you empty your bladder, where it just doesn't it doesn't feel like you've emptied it completely. And I will tell you, these are very spot on. In my lifetime, I have actually only experienced one UTI, and I consider myself very blessed about that, but I've also been a person who has really been proactive in taking care of the way that my body performs. I'm in tune with uh, the, the probiotics I take. I'm in tune with the water that I, how much water I drink. I'm in tune with keeping my immune system strong. And then I'm gonna give you some tips that's, that are natural things that you can actually do to clear up a UTI quicker and Prevent. So let's talk about prevention first. Number one, um, on almost every single list that I not only researched, but from what I know, 
is hydration. So in order for your urinary tract and your bladder and your kidneys to work well, you need to stay hydrated. You need to drink plenty of water. You might be a person who needs to add electrolytes to your, to your water, at least even one glass or one you know, canteen full of water every single day, maybe one packet of a really good electrolyte. Uh, that might help you with your hydration and keeping your uh, electrolyte levels up. Uh, now, of course, this next one, cranberries, right? Now, it's um, a lot of the people who, uh, you know, support cranberries as something for UTI, they will actually say, at least people who are in the medical profession will say, we're not sure why cranberries help, but it's been used for prevention. And I know when I had my UTI, that's one of the first things I did is I went to the store and I got some unsweetened cranberry juice because... That is what you always hear, that there's a lot of um, nutrition and benefits to using cranberry juice uh, when you uh, have a UTI. So here's what this says. Studies have shown that cranberries actually make it harder for the bacteria that causes UTIs to stick in the urinary tract walls. So there are studies that show that. So there you go. That is the main reason that people have always said, you got a UTI, drink cranberry juice. So while it is not really considered a remedy, if you, if you frequently get UTIs, it might be worth considering drinking a glass or two of unsweetened cranberry juice or snacking on the whole cranberries, whether they're whole or whether they're dried, just because it helps uh, take away some of that bacteria that actually causes UTI. So this is, this is what causes it, is it a, it's a bacteria. Uh, another way to prevent UTIs is if you have to go to the bathroom, don't hold it too long. We're talking about urinate. If you have to go, don't put it off and put it off and put it off because then you're just actually stressing your bladder and you're giving yourself more of a chance to maybe cause an infection because you're, you're holding when you, sh when you should just be get up and go when you have the urge, right? Probiotics. I mentioned that earlier, that is a very, very good way to repopulate your gut flora, especially if you have been on a lot of antibiotics. Now, if you're a person who suffers from chronic UTIs and you've been on chronic rounds of antibiotics as well to clear those up, and even the medical profession now will admit that this is not usually the best course of events because then you are wiping out all your beneficial bacteria and unless you're on a really proactive probiotic, really focusing on some of these things, um, it, then you're setting yourself up to have chronic UTIs for, for some people for many, many years. So my hope for you with all of this is that if you're a person who suffers from UTIs is that you can, you can get some of these lifestyle things in and make a big difference in your health. So the next thing is um, actually, Vitamin C is such a panacea for so many things, and it's not any surprise that vitamin C is very beneficial for people who suffer from chronic UTIs or even in the prevention of UTIs. So here's what I found. Uh, not only does vitamin C help strengthen your immune system, but it, may also, but, it, but it may also acidify your urine, which limits the growth of some bacteria and may prevent urinary tract infections from occurring. So, um, and then it says this, just be careful of eating too many acidic foods when you have a UTI, as they can potentially irritate your bladder, um, which if you have a UTI, UTI, it may make your symptoms a little bit worse, okay? So that's just a little bit of a caveat, but vitamin C just tends to be one of those uh, vitamins that is safe at high doses and very, very healing for so many things. Now, here's another thing that I found in all my research on this is there are certain foods that you should avoid if you want to prevent UTIs. Now there are three big, big ones. Caffeine, alcohol, and artificial sweeteners really disturb the beneficial bacteria that, um, that can help protect you and could lead to maybe a UTI if you don't have enough. So those are some foods that if maybe you've been wanting to cut back on caffeine, maybe you've been wanting to cut back on alcohol, um, and maybe you know that artificial sweeteners 
are not that good for you and you still kind of uh, use them anyway and you tend to have UTIs more than you'd like, uh, this would be something to put on your radar and take out of your diet, right? And then the last thing that I wrote on here, and this one, you know, this you, we got to say it, that the tip is especially for women, in fact, mostly for women, is wipe front to back. When you use the restroom, wipe front to back because then you're not taking bacteria to the front. And this can actually lead to a lot of UTIs. Now, what I've personally, what I personally did when I had my one UTI all those years ago is not only did I drink cranberry juice, but I did Lomatium. I did LDM 100. Now, this is something I've talked about in the past. I haven't actually uh, done any type of information or video in length uh, like I am right here about UTIs, the things that you can do to prevent it and what causes it. But in my own personal experience, when I had a U when I had that one UTI, I took about 50 drops, and I didn't count out 50 drops. I just squeezed up the dropper of my LDM bottle about halfway, and that is about 25 drops. So I did that twice, put it in a tiny bit of water, and I did that every hour while I was awake during that day, which was about 12 hours. And it was kind of a painful day. I will tell you, as a person who's only experienced one UTI, I'm grateful it's only been one, but that was a very, very painful experience. I really feel for those people who experience um, UTIs chronically, especially little kids. I mean, that, that was a very painful experience. So every hour for 12 hours, I took Lomation because as many of you that are familiar with what we do and our work, especially with Lomation, is that it's not only antiviral and antifungal, but it, it has powerful antibacterial properties, which is the main cause of a UTI. Now, again, I'm gonna say here, this is my own experience. This is uh, not meant to be medical advice. Please know that this is for education and entertainment purposes only. But I would say that this is something that if you're interested, definitely take a look at it. Now, again, a good probiotic is good to throw in there, vitamin C. And I also think that going through a good kidney cleanse uh, to really support and nourish and detox your kidneys is a really, really good idea. Um, earlier this year, we came out with a beautiful kidney cleanse tincture. I'll put a link below this video to the LDM, to the kidney cleanse, and I would say do that maybe once a year, or if, uh, if you are prone to uh, kidney issues or bladder infections, UTIs, maybe a kidney cleanse is something you need to do while you're getting your kidneys healthy, um, maybe three times a year, maybe four. So tune in, see what works best for you. And then the final thing that I would suggest, and we did not actually have these when I had my UTI, is something that's really beneficial for your immune system. And if you have a little bit of a compromised immune system, something like our mushroom power blend is gonna really be beneficial for just giving your immune system a boost and all those beautiful beta-glucans that come in with a mushroom blend. Now this mushroom blend we have has five different medicinal mushrooms. And if you know anything about mushrooms, you've done a lot of research, they figure there's about 3 million different species of mushrooms in on Mother Earth. And out of those 3 million, about 13,000 have been identified, which is a lot. But the interesting thing is there's only about 12 or 13 mushrooms that have been identified as not only safe for human consumption, but identified for their medicinal properties for humans. So in our mushroom power blend, we have five, five of those mushrooms. They are reishi, shiitake, mataki, turkey tail and chaga and these are just a, this is just a beautiful blend this is an extract of organic mushrooms we use in alcohol and a hot water extraction process of the fruiting body all of this is good information to know and then we extract it we we take it down to a powder and then we encapsulate it into these beautiful easy to take capsules so number one let me recap super quick ldm 100 every hour on the hour, cranberry juice, vitamin C, a good probiotic, a good kidney cleanse, 
and something for to keep your immune system for prevention is the mushroom power blend so if there's any tips i left out in here i would love to hear what maybe you've done to help your body recover from a uti or even prevent a uti so thanks for so much for tuning in guys i hope you have a beautiful day and we'll talk to you soon